We're going to the world's smallest elevator once again. It's like a closet. <laughs> I know. All right, time in. We'll close these. Oh, it just drops when you hit the button. Good morning, it's another day here in Florence and we are off for more adventures starting in this elevator. We're staying really close to a food market. I think we might have missed it today, but we're still gonna go check it out. So we are absolutely loving Florence, loving where we're staying. This place gets like all the good reviews. We finally got a good night's rest after the overnight bus coming here. So we're feeling extra refreshed. Had an amazing time yesterday and cannot wait for today. It's not fully open or it's a little bit late today so we're missing it. Probably come back tomorrow. But this place, this market, looks like heaven. It's like an Italian heaven of all the Italian food, produce, everything. Look at this. Insane. Wow. Look at all of this. So cool. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> I have never seen something so amazing. Yeah. Katrin, how yes. excited are you? Pretty excited. I'm blown away. We don't even know where to start. There's about 30 options in here of different places to eat. I think I'm gonna feel like pizza and beer. So I'm gonna do that. And Katrin, you're gonna grab a pasta? Yeah. Fresh homemade pasta. Diavola? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can have one diavola? Yes. That's it? Yep. You have some to drink? No, no, not for now. Okay, nine euro. Holy crap. This thing looks insane. I cannot wait to eat it. <laughs> Ooh. This is the most delicious looking thing I've seen. Thank, Thank you. you. I think it's gonna be boiling like really hot. It's just right out of the oven, but it looks beautiful. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Breakfast in Italy, I like it. <laughs> We're just waiting for the pizza to cool down for a second because it's like on fire, it's liquid. It only took about three or four minutes to make so quick. That oven must be a billion degrees. La dolce vita. Using full effect. All right, I'm gonna try this. This pizza is so good, it like could bring you to tears. Everything about it is perfect. The cheese, the crust, it's perfect. It's amazing. I'm gonna eat a lot more. It's cooled down now, so I think it's totally fine to eat. I can't wait. We just had our first course of our breakfast. So we had the Diavolo pizza, which is basically like a tomato sauce base with uh, spicy salam, the freshest, the most amazing mozzarella, and then also some fresh basil on top. It was exceptionally good. Definitely one of the best pizzas I ever had. Definitely gonna have some more while in Italy. But there's so many different food stalls you can choose basically everything from. So yeah, we definitely need to eat more, but it's so hard to decide what we want. Yes. Like Ashin said, we are ridiculously overwhelmed, which is normal, but this is like another level. Like this, I feel like if I could describe to you heaven, it would be this room. Okay. Just being able to walk around here with like an unlimited pass and never being full and being slightly tipsy the whole time, that would actually be heaven. Because this place is everything you could ever imagine under one roof. I'm not really sure, because we have only just arrived really in Florence, how it compares price-wise to things outside of Florence or outside of this market, but I'm all right with it. It's definitely cheaper than the Italian style pizza that is right around the corner from my apartment in New York. And that's about half the price actually. Since they do import their ingredients from here, it probably would be more expensive there. But yeah, nine euros for a pizza today. And I feel very good. These beers were four euros. Lovely Moretti beer. This is like common beer here in Italy. You have Peroni, you have Moretti. We're gonna try them all, of course. All right, so we're at this 
fresh pasta stall now and we couldn't decide which pasta we wanted to try so we're going for two we're having the picciccaccio pepe i'm probably pronouncing this wrong but this is a typical tuscan star pasta it's a little bit thicker and then we're having a rigatoni carbonara just because we really like it freshly made italian pasta like life doesn't get better than this does it i literally cannot wait we couldn't make up our minds so we're getting all the pasta wow okay I feel like we can finish this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I believe in you. I believe in you. Tuscan style spaghetti. It's a little bit thicker than the normal ones. I've got some classic rigatoni here and it is looking really good. So this is my first carbonara. It's like an egg yolk base. It's got like cheese. It's got all this good stuff in there. Now let's do this. Let's dig in. And the table next to us is vacant now as this place is clearing out because we are again the last people for breakfast. All right, first bite of the rigatoni is going down right now. Carbonara is going down. Mmm. You instantly taste that pecorino cheese. Oh, this is so good. Holy crap, that pepper. Mm. Oh my god. The crispy pork. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> we might not be able to finish this. I feel like we can finish this. <laughs> yeah? yeah? I believe in you. I believe in you. It's actually more than it looks like. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah? Yeah. Looks out of control good. It's a lot of pasta though. Let's show you Pepe, first bites in Italy. Mm. I think this one wins. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We might have trouble walking out of here after this, but that's okay. That's the way it should be. For our Indonesian viewers, Inak. Inak Scali. Yes, so good. Okay, we're wheeling ourselves out of here. We literally can't walk so full. We were gonna eat something else and then we decided to not, to just wait till later. Maybe grab some coffee or drinks or something. We're gonna go now and check out one of the most famous things here in Florence. You probably know it as the cathedral. There's basically no line. Perfect. A few moments later. Hi. <laughs> we are about to experience coffee at one of the oldest coffee places in all of Italy. Built in the 1700s. We're going to eat drink this coffee. I got an iced latte with a little bit of sugar. Katrin got a regular cappuccino. Let's see how this tastes. Ooh, it's beautiful. <laughs> It's really beautiful. Yeah, we're just standing here at the counter. That's why we're kneeling down to where you guys are. <laughs> this place. Cappuccino was 150. Ice cappuccino was 250. Not bad. And fantastic coffee. It's kind of weird to stand and drink your coffee, but I'm okay with it. It's kind no, of like a power. Italian the Italian coffee culture. Standing and just drink real quick. <laughs> If we wanted the same coffee sitting down, it would be five euros. That's okay though. All right, so we're doing something active to burn off all these calories. We're about to go up to a famous viewpoint here yeah. in Florence. I am loving this town. Everywhere you look, it's really hard to walk around because it's just like so, so stunning, so beautiful. It's not as crazy hot as Germany was, but it's still pretty hot. Oh my gosh. We've just been drinking liters of water, coffee, and beer, and wine. I'm missing my scooter right now though, back in Bali, like that would be perfect. And it seems like everybody here also has scooters. This is one of the few countries in the world outside of Indonesia where people drive scooters a lot. So I'm sure we'll try and figure one out or rent one later. They're all really loud here. They're like loud bikes that you probably wouldn't want to be driving around. I don't recognize most of the brands, but they all look really good. There are quite a few stairs ahead of us. We're gonna go all the way up there for a beautiful view yeah. of Florence. 
Woo. I'm dying. Are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> this is the Mount Batur hike in Florence. No, it's totally it's beautiful, totally worth it. You need a little bit of exercise. Doesn't look like it's that far. Maybe a five minute. All right, climbing up. Oh my god. So many stairs. We made it up guys, we made it up. It was more like a 15 to 20 minute very slow hike up. Not too bad, honestly. Really not too bad. Thank God the weather cooled off slightly. Guys, look at this view though. Check this out. All right, I'll check that Italian flag out. That is how I feel right now. I feel as good and free as we are here at Piazza della Michelangelo. You may have heard of him. He's actually there. He's been hanging out in green. Right there, you see him? Anyway, we've got ourselves, found ourselves a nice seat up here. Mm -hmm. got ourselves two Peronis. Ice cold. Ice cold, only three euros each. And an amazing view. This view is ridiculous, <laughs> is insane. I can't wait to see the sun set a little bit more and explore a little bit more this afternoon. So it's already almost, what, 7 p.m.? Mm. And it feels like it's 3 in the afternoon, like, because the sun doesn't set till so late. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. Super refreshing. Oh, so refreshing. We have so much coming up, so definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up on the video, and we'll see you in the next one.